Hello guys, welcome to my channel Liklix. So in today's tutorial, uh, I will let you know how to make a progress bar in jQuery. So let's start with the uh, making a progress bar. So the body, uh, I'm going to create div with the class as progress bar. And uh, I will create a inner div as well. And I can give it as a class as p inner. So let's do some CSS stuff. So progress bar is my class name. Let it be a uh, march on 100 pixel. The width I can have as 1000 pixel. The height is 40 pixel. Then let's say the uh, border solid one pixel CCC. Uh, that's the color. So the box shadow as 0, 0, 010 pixel and the color. Let's see the output. Open in browser. So here my uh, the region comes with the progress bar that have a width of thousand pixel. The height is of forty pixel. The border is uh, the border, and the box shadow is zero pixel zero pixel. The ten pixel is the shadow of black color that has been displayed. Uh, so the p inner uh, p inner is a division that I have made in the inside of my progress bar division. The p inner. So the p inner will be uh let it be as a background color i can take as uh, background color is red uh, let it be and the width is 100 pixel and the height is 40 pixel so it's the p in uh, the class spelling mistake so here uh, the division comes uh, with the width as um, 100 pixel the height 40 pixel and the background color is red so let's do some CS, uh, the jQuery stuff I will have like a function as set interval show function that will call uh, after every 1000 means one second the show, show function so I'm going to declare a variable with the var i as 100. So because uh, the pina has a value as 100 pixel in the initial on the initial step. So i equals to i plus 10. I'm moving it uh, like the 10 pixel 100 plus 10 is 110. And here I'm going to move this as p inner dot css width i. Uh, like, uh, I think uh, something so here it goes so the setting double function will call show function after every 1000 means one second and in the show function in at every show function the i will be uh, the initial value of i will be 100 and it will increment by 10 so whenever the first show function is called it is being incremented as 100 plus 10 as 110 then it will uh, set the p inner the p inner is the inner class of the progress bar and uh, the p inner width will be changed to from 100 pixels to 110 pixel uh, this one again the show function is called 110 plus 10 it's 120 so again the width of uh, the p inner will be moved from 110 pixel to 120 pixel so let's see the output so here it is moving uh, like after every one second, but uh, I can just speed up the things as 100 means uh, the very little part of my one second. And uh, let's see. So here the exact progress bar has comes like it's moving in a proper speed. So I have to control here, like I have to stop here. So for that, I will declare a variable as s s equals to set interval and um, I will say as if i equals to I am incremented it by 10 it's 1010 uh, this will be my else part <clears throat> so p inner dot css width 
I will do as clear interval S. So let's see the output. Sorry. So now it will stop at 1010 means uh, when the value of i becomes 1010 clear interval s clear interval as i have explained in my old videos of jquery it will stop my set interval function after the clear interval is called so in this way you can have a progress bar a custom progress bar that is made in jquery i hope you enjoy my videos to keep uh updating with my latest video do subscribe my channel like my videos and share my videos thanks for much watching my videos